Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to my first episode of Keeping It Real. I'm your host, Steve Robotham. On today's segment, we're going to be fishing for some giant smallmouth on Lake Simcoe. Um, Canada Day long weekend. Fishing smallies on Lake Simcoe. Strike zone slam, slammer, excuse me. Three and a quarter pounder, maybe. Dad's got one on here. Came back and hit a second time and missed it the first time. But, uh, it's fish like, that, like those slammers. I'm just barely seeing it right now and can't really tell how big it is. Of course there's a fast boat coming right out of it now too. This must be a good fish. Good, good fish. Yeah, it's a real good fish. This is just dogging. Didn't take long for that bass boat to stop. Forget the hook for a sec. Just right on the left. Come up like yeah. this. That's a big one right there. Alright, we're out here again, just fishing shallow shoals, looking to see if there's any more bedding fish left. It's July 1st, Canada Day. And uh, we're finding them. It's not a, a whole lot left, but it's a pretty good amount. Good solid fish. I'll just take them. This here's a good one. I worked for a little bit on the bed with the drop shot slammer again. It's a real good fish. <laughs> Maybe we'll grab the net for this one. I'm disappointed if I lose this. Pig. There's a solid fish. Hook came out in the in the net, but I'll show you here. All right, so we've got the 202 smoke drop shot slammer from Strike Zone. We're running about a 14 inch lead there, and uh, it's casting to the beds and rocks and just anything different in the shore, and we're managing some good solid fish like that. And, uh, We'll have to make a call now. We're keeping our keeping our five. I'm thinking this one here is gonna go. Seems like a pretty manageable call to me. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful fish. 
Alright, so today's segment was split into two different filming days. We fished one day in the middle of August and one day on Canada Day, both on Lake Simcoe. We happened to find a fish both days pretty shallow water, anywhere from 5 to 14 feet. Um, nothing really deeper than that. <coughs> both times we were most successful throwing a drop shot bait. Now what that is, is you have your hook, in this case, about 14 inches up from, from a weight. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to keep your bait off bottom while still maintaining contact with the bottom and keeps the bait in the strike zone longer. Um, in this scenario, <coughs> I like using an Exome Slammer. It's a new local bait designed by a man named Mark Kulik and uh, it's a, a revolutionary bait in this area. It's absolutely phenomenal. And not only for smallmouth, for lake trout, whitefish, pickerel. Uh, we've got the pan slammers for perch and steelhead now. Um, it's just a tremendous line of bait, and uh, I like sticking with more natural colors. In this case, I've got a smoke purple fleck. Um, in both days out there, we did really well on smoke colors. Uh, smoke copper fleck, uh, smoke gold fleck. Um, it's a very natural bait bush type presentation, and, uh, and that's what I like. Um, in this scenario, we have a quarter ounce weight, which is what I tend to use the most. Uh, on flat calm days, I'll sometimes go down and do an eighth ounce, or if I'm fishing windy or deep water days, I'll go as heavy as a half ounce. Uh, it's, it's all about maintaining contact with the bottom with the least amount of weight necessary. Yeah. Out on Simcoe oh, here. Come. See him over there, Steve? Yeah. Look couple, at the one following him. Yeah, a couple fish with him. Fishing Simcoe smallies. One behind there's a tank. Yeah. Yeah, that is a pig. Spitting up crayfish like crazy. Get him up. There you go. Nice fish to start the day. Dad with about a four pounder, maybe a bit more. Nice fish. Got another one here. Been a pretty slow day, but uh, got about six fish. All been pretty good. Dad's got one on now. We haven't seen it yet. Most of the fish today have been jumping, so curious to see how this goes. Nice fish up there. Yeah, I just saw him come up. There you go. That's a good fish. There's one falling. Yeah, it just showed up from under the boat. Oh, look, Two another one. Three of them. They're just showing up out of nowhere. Wait, point the spot here. That's a good fish. Look at them all. Don't reel while he's pulling line. There we go. There you go. Solid fish. Yeah, the wind died down for us and uh, we're able to sight fish a little bit. I've actually got a decent fish on right now. Some more fish following it. It's funny, we came out to a spot and I looked at this rock pile and said, wow, that just looks too obvious. And uh, my bait didn't even hit bottom before I caught it. I'm using a smoke slammer with a white belly and copper fleck. Yeah. Fish are really on the gobies out here. It's a pretty good goby color. That's a good, pretty good fish there. And uh, you can see here, he just absolutely inhaled it. Here on Simcoe, it's, uh, it was really, really slow morning. We've absolutely pounded them the last hour and a half. Four or five pound fish, just, I mean, like crazy. I just hooked up with one here, I think might be a little better. Definitely a little better. That's a six or seven pound fish. Okay, great, sir. Watch your leg. Watch your leg, please. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe not as good as I thought.
fish. I don't want to come up. Oh, that was almost devastating. Need some help? Well, he didn't help a while ago, but I'll be. I'll get him. That's it's bound to pop here. Ah, uh, popped out his nose into my hand there. Boy, that's a real solid fish. It's probably not quite six. Five and a half, though, and uh, we'll bring our total up pretty good. That's a solid, solid fish. Awesome. Man, what a great day of smallmouth fishing that was. I'm going to show you a clip from my video vault. It's a clip from 2009, the first day I took my fiance pike fishing, and she hooked into this monster. Oh, man. Oh, my God. At Sir Catch a Lot Professional Guiding, you hook into fish like this. This giant. He's off the side. Let him go. You having fun, Cal? Yeah. Second big one today. Holy crap. The second fish over 40 inches. Where is it now? Going under the boat. No, don't, 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 pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him. Check this out, 20 pounder. <laughs> oh my god. That's bigger than locks, I think. That is a, a bass bait that has been working phenomenally for giant fish like that. Holy cow. Cal, get up there. <laughs> Now you've seen Simple Smallmouth, now you've seen the video vault, I'm going to take you to a smaller lake that I went with a couple clients earlier this year. We had some awesome smallmouth fishing. Take a look at it. Let's keep it bent. Hooked up here with another good smallmouth. Oh, there's another one following it too. Oh my, look at the size of it. It looks like, like, it looks like a sheep head. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's another one. Oh, there's four following yeah. it. Three, four. Oh, we should put another bait in. Here, you, you pitch sure? in and I'll grab this. <laughs> yeah, there's some other good ones there, too. That's a fat fish. Just pull an RNA. Yeah. Just take your time, don't rush them. right on mine. Just missed it. Oh. Missed one? He mi no, he missed it. I thought I had it. He made a move like he took it. And I couldn't see it anymore. And they all three of them went. Try and guide him on the surface up here. There you go. Yeah. Let it go here. <laughs> Perfect. Champ. Nice smallie, man. There's one in the contest. He's got two in the boat. <laughs> Oh, he's still out there. I gotta keep on these. Yeah, there's a hole. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hooked up again. <laughs> Tons of fun, sight fish and smallmouth. Oh, oh, there's another one. Yeah. That's another good one with it yeah. too. Oh, that's another four pounder with it. Yeah. 
Look at that. You can get them both in the, both in the net, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nice. Another solid fish. There he is, yeah. Nice. Alright. Nice one. Wow. He's fatter, too. Better body on him. Worth it? Yeah. It's another real solid fish. You got a... Pliers? Yeah. So after a great day on a smaller lake in the Simcoe County area, I'm going to show you what we're using. For the most part, we're using a Zoom Super Fluke. Now, it's a soft jerk bait, so it allows you to cover a lot of water with a very finesse style. Um, a lot of people will throw spinner baits and crank baits, jerk baits, top waters, um, anything you can use to cover water. Those all work. Some days the fish want something more finesse, and this Super Fluke is a great option.